you know, if I were, I don't know, a better artist or something, I would have really tried these many, you know, hundreds of times. Different strings and different situations. I you know, didn't want to know them too well. A lot of my work is about not being able to do something well. You know, it tries to locate itself in a place where, you know, appreciation of craft is not necessarily part of the appreciation of the, of the piece. I mean, nobody could tell me how to do the craftsmanship that's in this piece. It comes really from inside. One of the important things about these pieces is where the where one string will cross another. And in some cases, they burn into the string underneath so that for all intents and purposes, they form a, a film. In other cases, they don't. And like in the last one, the first one sinks in by weight, and the second one burns, staying on top. So the notion of it being an illusion is also explained in this kind of theme of, of overlapping. and whether it's a real overlap or it's an illusion or whether the real looks uh, like an illusion. I mean, that's my favorite part of, of this piece and maybe that's what the whole piece is, is about. Because most of my work is non-illusionistic and so the illusion if there is an illusion, is actually real. But in these pieces, it gets turned around, and that the, the fun, the real kind of yuck yuck fun, is that when they, uh, they, they actually, the real uh, looks like an, an illusion, and you know, so they child, they have the childlike uh, quality. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well that's. Happy, happy living together, I think.